time of little butterflies. I'm not even going to try to pretend like I'm about to give y'all an explanation for why I was gone. I just know I'm back. So anyway, here today I have, I'm going to start off with my book haul. Some books that I got at the end of last year and some books that I just got like like the last couple of weeks. Like the last three weeks or so or a month, whatever, like ago. So I'm going to try to go through them. Some of them I remember what it's about, some of them I don't. I have some graphic novels in here and which is only a little bit of graphic novels it looks like i only have about five six graphic novels and then everything else is like book books so yeah let's get right into it okay so first i'm gonna go ahead and do my books that i got like at the end of last year so like the last couple of books that i got in 2020 i mean shit 2020 2021 so this one is by mushuko Ten tensi tensi it's called Jobless Reincarnation. I got this because I'm really trying to get into manga. I really am. What I know about this is, I think it's like a middle-aged man. He ends up dying, but he gets reincarnated as a child, but with all of his memories from his previous life. So, that's what this is about. And I fucked around and got the wrong one. Like, this isn't the manga version, like, with the actual photos in it. Like, this is, with the graphics in it, this is like the novel rendition of that but it's the same thing but i noticed after i got it i was like i thought this was supposed to be a graphic novel and it had nothing like no graphics in it i was like oh fuck i got the wrong one but anyway same thing um i'm still gonna like it i probably enjoy it better like this anyway to be honest maybe this way because i never i'll start reading a manga and it just don't it don't sit with me so there we go the next three graphic novels that i have are part of a series so i have Teen Titans The Raven, Teen Titan Beast Boy, and then Teen Titan Beast Boy and Raven. Now, I love me some Teen Titans. Like, Raven is one of my favorites, too. So, and I mean, like, the original Teen Titans. Not that whatever the fuck they did and they have on Cartoon Network now. I saw that and I could have, my heart just was like, what the fuck is that? I mean, like, original Teen Titans. So when I saw these, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get them. Cause I'm like, if, it, if it's if it's gonna be bad, it's gonna hurt my feelings. And usually I get like one book in a series first and test the waters out and see if I like it. And then I'll get the series. But with this, I'm like, I'm just gonna get all three of them. Cause that, you, you didn't, no way that this is fucked up. There's no way that it's fucked up. So I'm gonna just go into it with believing that it's gonna be everything that I want it to be. And be positive thinking about it. The next one that I have is Pumpkin Heads by Faith Hicks. I've seen this on BookTube before. I haven't been watching a whole lot of BookTube. Like since I haven't been on BookTube. I really have not. Like I I haven't just. I haven't been doing much but going to work and come home and going to sleep. That's what I do. I'm just starting to get back in my kick of reading. Because I wasn't really doing too much of that either. But. This, I don't remember what it's about, to be honest with you. It's by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I just know it's about, like, two high school students, I guess, the like, grew up being best friends. They meet at the pumpkin patch every year. And then this year, it's different because whatever they see is whatever. Something like that. But I, I don't remember what it's about. And I'm not even about to sit here and try to read through and tell you what it's about. But I've seen it on BookTube before. So, y'all go check it out. So, then I have Witchy by Ariel. Slam it, raise or rise. Um, so this is about it's set like in this world where um, those that have long hair are considered to be like the most magical beings. Um, but if your hair is too long, which means you're very powerful, then you're seen as an enemy to the kingdom. So yeah, that's all I know about this one. But um, this one has a second, has a companion novel to it too. This one has a second installment to go along with it but yeah so that's all that i have for graphic novels i'm just gonna jump into the books now i have a couple of them um i don't think i got any graphic novels with my recent books that i've bought so that's really every all of the graphic novels that i've had like caught up from last year to now so i'm gonna just go ahead and go through these books some of these i already read but i never had the physical copies and i wanted the physical copies and some of these i have and some of these are continuations to series that i started and i have the first book but not that so yeah so this first book that i'm going to talk about is city of villains by the stale lord and i saw this 
I saw this for the first time just like scrolling through Amazon, but then I end up seeing it like on some people's like TBRs on BookTube like a while ago. So this is a series, I want to say, and it's a series like about villains, like about the Disney villains, and but it's like they're reimagined. So I think this first book, well, I know the girl, this girl on the cover, she is like a high school student, but then at night she interns with the police department and... I think the first villain that they're going to talk about is Scar. So yeah, it, it follows the villains. I don't know what the whole series is going to look like. But I, when I, I love a good villain story. So that what caught me when I found out it was a villain story. I was like, oh, that sounds like that's going to be really good. So I added it to my cart. So that's that. Um, if y'all read it, let me know. Did y'all like it? Because it is short. It's not nothing long or nothing crazy. The print isn't, isn't anything tiny. So I'm excited to read it because I think it's going to be a quick read. But I want it to be a quick read, but a good read, not a quick read and a disappointed read. Because, like I said, I love a villain story, so I'm kind of like hyped up about it. Then, the next books that I have is part of a series. I already read the first book. I bought the first book because I didn't buy it before. I checked it out from the library. And I also listened to some of it as an audio book. But I wanted it physically because I really loved it. And I have the second book. I never read the second book yet. So, and that is And I Darken by Kirsten White. I already read this one. I read this one a while ago. I can't remember how long. I pretty I did a review on it. I know it's on my page somewhere. And I really, I really, really liked it. I ended up enjoying this more than I thought I was gonna enjoy it. I don't remember if I gave it a four star or five star. And then I have the second book, Now I Rise. This one is a trilogy, it has a third book, but I was filling it out. So I'm gonna read the second book and see if I wanna continue with the third book. So I'm excited because I like, I remember how this ended off. I liked how it ended off. I can't wait to see where it goes. Then I have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. And y'all know I love Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I still haven't read with the Fire on Highs on my shelf. I just haven't read it. But I had to get it. Like anything she put her name on, I'm going to buy it. Even if I haven't read her last stuff, I'm going to buy it. Like Elizabeth Acevedo is amazing. I love how she writes. She writes in and prose and I, I just I love it I love it I love it I love it I love her poetry so if I remember correctly this one is about these two girls that end up finding out that they share the same dad that they didn't know about each other and they only find out because I think he dies and then they end up finding out about each other but he would spend time with one of them and then leave and go to a whole nother country to be with the other one and he would tell like the story that oh I'm going away on business when he would leave to each one so they didn't know he had a whole nother life in that other place and then when he dies they end up finding out about each other so this book i think is about them discovering each other discovering secrets discovering that their father was not who he presented himself to be to them that there was more to him and that there was just so much that he hid it's a lot of like coming to terms stuff like that so i'm excited because it seemed like it's gonna be drama and i love me some drama then i have Daughters of Enri by Renee Amayo and this has been on my list this has been sitting on my list for so long but I just didn't want to buy it because it was like $20 and I don't spend 20 I love hardback covers I love them so much but I just don't do $20 like I was just gonna get the Kindle version but it's so beautiful I'm like I need this physical book I can't just get it on the Kindle because this that this is just not appreciated on the Kindle I need this in, in person and this one has a second book to it. I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or if it's just a duology. So it has a second book. But I'm going to read this one first. I think the second book just came out this year. I want to say it came out sometime this year. I want to say it just came out. Or it's getting ready to come out. But they have a second book. But this book is about these two girls. I can't remember what their names are. But um, it's set in this world where there was a big war and the gods left earth and went it, it, it was a big war that ran the gods out of earth but the only thing that was left of them of their magic is within these two girls there were twin sisters and they were separated at birth to keep them in their magic hidden from the ruler of that kingdom and then um it's like them getting older they're gonna like go on this journey together to kind of take down the ruler of this kingdom and the more that they do the more that they go on and discover the more their magic and their power is going to grow so that's kind of like what this is it's almost 
to me it's almost like children of blood and bone like in a way you know what i mean like they're restoring i don't know if it's restoring magic to everybody but they're using their magic to take down the awful ruler of the kingdom that that they're in to bring about peace so i'm excited about this one i might read next month this is this might be on my tbr for next month i've been mood reading i haven't really listed a tbr I just kind of pick and go as i choose so this one might might be next month and then the last book that i had that i bought out of my books my last couple of books that i bought in um 2021 is a book that i've already read but i just don't and i have it physically but i don't have this version and i'm not that person to buy different versions but i just i love how this look so it's the collector's edition of the hate you give by angie thomas when i saw the gold cover i just i'm i've been eyeing it and i've been telling myself excuse me i don't need more than one copy of one book just because they changed the cover but, I mean, come on. Like, really? Like, how am I supposed to pass this up? <laughs> and then, on top of that, I didn't buy it. I think this was, like, part of my Christmas... Part of my Christmas gift, I want to say. I didn't buy it. But I just... I just... I love it. I have the original copy, which is, like, just, like, the white hardcover. My mom had it somewhere. She has it. But I just... I had to get it. I just had to. It just... It wasn't... I kept looking at it and kept circling back to it, so I did. And I did, I read this book, like, around the time it first came out. It was before the movie came out, so I read it before then. It was somewhere in that area. And I enjoyed it. I really loved it. I think I gave it a five stars or four and a half. I don't remember, but I did do a review on that one, too. So, that is it for my books that I got in 2020. Now, I have some books that I just recently got within, like, the last month or so and um you know i don't i don't haul that much i don't ever get like that many books i don't crazy like that so this might be like the last haul for like a while i might have another haul like around my birthday and then again probably around christmas but i don't i don't like I, when i buy books i buy them like in like a bulk it's hard for me to buy like one book two book here three but it's like i'd go off not buying books and then i buy a whole bunch and i'm trying something new i'm not filming as you can tell in front of my bookshelves i just have a lot going on over there right now and it's kind of crowded so i got me a little backdrop and i was like i'm gonna just you know film try to film in my room and see how i like it i got some extra lights you know i'm trying to i'm trying to do it y'all i'm trying to be i'm trying to get myself to where i want to be so yeah we'll see so this book is the most recent one that i got and i picked this up from walmart i didn't buy it with everything else i was in walmart for something totally different and just happened to walk i don't know why i went down there. i had no reason to even be on that side of the store with the books but i went down there anyway and i just happened to see this in this um homebody by rupee core and i love rupee core's like poem collections i love them so i just picked it up i didn't even like flip through it or anything but i know it's rupee core and i love like she's never let me down she's never had me like i can't i can't believe like she let disappointed me like this so i'm like let me just get it and see what it do so i have it i'm probably going to read this next one too um i have one more book i'm trying to finish this month and the sad part is today is the 30th as i'm filming this so i got one more day between tonight and tomorrow i plan on finishing this book because i want to end off this month so great i did so good reading wise this month and then i have operation sisterhood i'm not even going to try to pronounce the author's name because i know i can't say this but i'll put it on the screen so y'all can see it but i know i'm not even about to about to even fake myself out and act like i might be able to pull it off but this book um i don't know if it's middle grade or if it's like ya because i can't remember if the characters if the characters are like 12 13 or if they're like 15 16 but anyway um it follows this girl i think it's joe is it joe bo bo and her mom um are used to just always just being with them like just by themselves and then they end up moving uh, to new york with her boyfriend and his daughter and and a dog i think so it's about them integrating their families and so now she has sibling uh, siblings she didn't have before and everybody plays an instrument in this family like they're a musical family so it's going through them with all of this change with the family and then still finding something in common that they share together so getting to know each other i just thought this was cute i didn't see this on 
on booktube but i did see this on amazon like just recommended from other stuff and i just thought it was so cute it, it sounds like such a cute story it's like a like a light heartfelt story that's not nothing too heavy so um i'm gonna save this one for when i'm just starting to feel like i don't want to read nothing too serious and save myself from getting in a, in a rut then i have this book that i've been seeing all over booktube and it kind of made me get it because i've been seeing it all over the cover is beautiful i like what it's about it's just it's everywhere it's blood scion by deborah Faley. Faley. Um, this has been all over. If, if y'all know, if you've watched book two for a day, you've seen this book. Like, it's everywhere. So, I'm excited to read this book. I just, I love the cover. For one, that's what drew me in is the cover. And then, I don't know, I've just been into Orishas lately. And that's kind of what this story is. Sitting around, you know, the Orishas. And, you know, she's a descendant of, like, a fire god. But she has to hide it. Because then that means death. Because that's, like, you know, that's not, like, a, you know, that's a, a dangerous power to have because you're more powerful so it's about her hiding her powers but then trying to find out what happened to her mother because i think her mother went missing for trying to hide the fact that that's where they came from and she's trying to find out what happened to them and also take down um the kingdom that she's in i know she gets conscripted to the army and she tries to take it down from the inside. So I can't wait. Like I feel like this is going to be so much drama filled and action packed. And just so much going on. I can't wait. But I feel like I'm going to be attached to characters. And heart going to be broken. I just hope like with a character like this. The character building is. I'm not a character. With a book like this. The character building is on point. Because it will hurt my heart. If this book is set up to be so amazing. And then I'm like. I don't really care about the damn characters. So hopefully. The characters are attachment worthy, I, I should say. Because some characters be really boring and it's like y'all could have did so much more. So I'm excited. So, so, so excited for this one. And I'm going to read this one sooner than later because it's just the cover. is just so amazing. Okay, and now I have my last two books. Um, They're part of a series together. Again, I usually don't buy just series. I buy one first to test the waters out in case I don't like it. I don't have the other book and feel push to read it since I bought it but the covers were just so fucking cute like I couldn't pass it up again this is another one I just happened to see on Amazon this wasn't something that I saw on booktube before and that is The Ravens and the Monarchs by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page like tell me these covers tell me you can't tell me these covers are not amazing like these are cover buys 100% cover vibes like i saw the cover first added to my list and then went read what it was about and all i could tell you is it's supposed to be magic it's supposed to be um about like these different sorority groups that have pop like the the ravens is a sorority group and then the monarchs are a different sorority group but they have magic it's like they're not regular sorority groups everybody in the sorority has magic and it's about some it centers around that that's how you know i don't I, these were cover buys and i just i just hope they were worth it because these are just too beautiful for the book not to be not not to be good but yeah that's it that's all of the books that i bought between the end of last year and up to now um I'm about to have some reviews coming. I'm about to have a wrap up for January, February, and March. Because January I only read one book. February I only read one book. This month in March I've done most of my reading. I think I'm up to five books this month. Which is why I'm trying to finish. Oh, the book that I'm currently reading is Hurricane Summer by Asha Brumfield. And that's how far I am into it. So between tonight and tomorrow i want to finish the month with this book um so yeah so that way i could put me up to six books because i'm just i'm like i was on a roll all of a sudden i just got my move back to read so that's what i'm currently reading right now i'm really loving it but oh her daddy ain't shit her daddy ain't shit oh when i tell you if you ever wanted to read a book about ancient parents and it's not even parents it's not plural it's an ancient daddy it's just <laughs> I'm gonna do a review on this one because he had me like damn your daddy ain't worth shit <laughs> like, that's what it was but 
I'm enjoying it so far. You know, I have my things. I'm enjoying it. It's it's in the fours for me right now. It's not at the fives. It's definitely in the fours. I'm loving it. All right, everyone. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Stitch is my spirit animal and black lives still matter. So thank you guys so much. Bye.